Are you ready to try mushrooms but you don't know where to start? In this video, I'm going to break down the different doses you can take of psilocybin and how it will make you feel. Mind you, this is strictly for guidance and educational purposes only. I do not sell, condone, or encourage taking illegal substances. Make sure you read your local laws to find out what you can and cannot do. And also, mushrooms do affect everyone differently, so please keep that in mind while watching this video. Well, that said, here we go. So what exactly happens when you consume mushrooms? Well, when you eat mushrooms, the active ingredient psilocybin gets broken down in your gut into psilocin, and psilocin bonds with the serotonin 2A receptors in your brain. That in turn starts an avalanche of neurofiring. It allows you to access parts of your brain that is usually inaccessible. It turns your brain from an individual network into a group network. This is why it could be so beneficial for helping a variety of mental conditions. Now that we know how it works, let's dive right in. First up, we have a microdose. So my Microdose is anywhere between 25 milligrams, which is 0.025 grams, to about 250 milligrams. Granted, I have met people that do take more than this, but they did build up their tolerance to even handle that. Because a microdose is supposed to be so small that you shouldn't even feel it. You should feel an increase in brain function, elevated mood, more energy. It could even be great as a pre-workout. It's supposed to enhance your intention for the day, not change it completely. Next up, we have a low dose. So low dose is anywhere above that 250 milligram mark to about 1 or 1.5 grams. This is when you actually start to feel it. I like to call this a social dose because you can still hang out and be social with your friends. You'll feel a sense of euphoria, a little anxiousness, butterflies in your tummy. It'll feel like you're going up a roller coaster, like tick, 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 but you never quite drop. The visuals are mellow at this stage. Things start to breathe and the environment will become more crisp and vibrant. With this dose, hiking in the forest goes from a weekend getaway to an actual fairy tale. Then we have a moderate dose. So this is between 1.5 grams to 3 grams. I like to call this the sexy dose because it's the perfect amount to take with a significant other. You can fall in love all over again on this dose. You'll feel a heavier sense of euphoria. The visuals are definitely more enhanced and your senses are, well, more sensitive. This is when you start to question your reality and even yourself. Everything you thought you knew is hmm, no longer what you know. It's like as if somebody rips you out of a cubicle and brings you up to this objective viewpoint of the whole company. It's like, wait, is this how everything works? Next up, high dose. This is, whew, oh boy. This is three grams all the way up to about five grams. This is what I consider to be the solo journey dose because you definitely are not going to want to share this experience with anyone else. This is a you dose. Your higher self is at the door like, hello, and your ego is hanging on by a tiny thread. Everything is definitely alive and dancing at this point and the floor may start to feel like your best friend. And you'll notice that your skin becomes marshmallow-like. In other words, your senses are dialed up at top notch. Finally, we have the hero dose. The hero dose is five grams. Oh my God, five grams? That's crazy. You are definitely a different entity at this point. Visuals are straight up insane. Oh, and your ego? Whew, your ego dropped dead a while ago. Like, bye, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Congrats though, because you're no longer you. You're a new you, a more spiritual you, and you'll never be the same. Dun, dun, dun. It's okay, it's okay though. Embrace it, love it, enjoy them all. But make sure that if you do a high dose, please work your way up. Don't just skip to the end. Your brain might not be able to handle it. Now, no matter what dose you do, always integrate afterwards. This is not a magic pill. You have to incorporate healthy habits to raise your vibration. These medicines are here to guide you, not do the work for you. So read, meditate, exercise, journal, get plenty of sleep, get plenty of water, do things that bring you joy, surround yourself with people that support you and your journey. And you, you make sure that you are supportive of yourself and your journey. Now, every strain is different. Some are more cerebral, some are more of a body high. So please do your research to find out which ones are best for you. And trust your source, please. And as a reminder, mushrooms do affect everyone differently. So these were just some general observations that I've found. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more psychedelic updates, guidance, and news.